Hi, Shower Iris here, I'm a choreographer and dancer, and today I'm going to be reacting to Pixie Addicted, the dance practice video. Here we go. Formation. Look at that formation. Let me understand what's happening. I just feel like, how long has it been? 11 seconds. I could have paused this like five times and seen five different amazing formations. I mean, they work so well as a unit, don't they? Like, as a dancer working in a unit, the only thing that you need to do in order to make it look like you all work as a team and you're in sync, the only thing you need to do, I say the only, but you need to trust the other person. Like, we do so many, like, fall and catch exercises you know when you trust someone's going to catch you if you fall back because you need to be able to trust the other people in your group in order to sync the choreography because you just know that no matter what you do right down to a point where if you accidentally slip and a movement is a little bit out of place they will carry that movement you need to be able to read each other like telepathically and trust is such a big factor in groups and you know i just feel like pixie are really close as as friends because what i've seen in 30 seconds has just been pure trust in one another <laughs> They're quick, they're quick. And there's nothing I love more than to see masculine dance energy in female groups. Like, you get a lot of female groups who do the pretty thing. And I, I, I really don't mean to be offensive by saying this, but these there's literally no appropriate or political dancing terms for it. So I just have to say it as a choreographer would say it. But there are really like feminine, seductive type dances. Um, and a lot of female groups, not, not in Korea, but in other countries, uh, stick to the norm. They, they, they come across in such a way where things are sexy and sultry and really cutesy. Um, and that's fine. That's absolutely fine. It works so much with a lot of beats, but to bring in a masculine energy as women, it's, it's something that over time I feel needs to change because you you see you see female dancer in a backwards cap with all her sports gear on doing like you know things that you would see like a male break dancer do and you automatically think not you but just like society generally automatically thinks oh you know they're a tomboy and you know and that's not the case you know it, it's not true women and men can dance exactly the same way but th there are energies men and women have both masculine and female energies but these energies are recognized in dance and unfortunately they're still kind of um given to to the sexes that masculine needs to be for men and feminine needs to be for female and k-pop breaks that stereotype because i've seen male groups bring in feminine energy and I've seen female groups bring in masculine energy and it's just like I feel like Korea is just moving so far forward in terms of gender identity that the rest of the world really needs to catch up. Sorry I went on a bit of a rant there.
Tuh. I mean, look at the synchronicity. Like, honestly, when you watch this back, like the, the, the dance practice, just pause it anywhere. Like, literally, I don't have to worry about what I see. Their lines are perfect and their synchronicity is perfect. Like, you, you can just tell that like, this is a close group. They, they love and trust each other. Like, I'd be really surprised if someone in the comments told me otherwise, to be honest. The one in the middle just now is standing out. She's bringing a lot of power in in her movements. Like she's she's standing out for me a lot. Do you see that little? Did you see that that footwork? The one in the white trousers just got a little bit of. She caught herself. See that? They make it look so natural. The thing I like about dan dancers when there's a misstep because, you know, maybe you've tripped or you just haven't caught, caught the move in the right time is your ability to make it look like nothing's happened. So that, that was really good. One in the middle is so good, she's got so much power. They are literally at their most powerful in terms of dancing when they dance together as a group. Like, I, I honestly think they're incredibly unmatched there. ending oh my god they're so easy to watch i could just sit here comfortably with like popcorn and just like watch them and just know that it's just gonna be fire um actually i need to see more dance practices from pixie because that that showed me so much about their ability uh i this has made me realize why i don't like reacting to dance practices though i've got to keep the volume down so it's not loud for you guys but then i can't hear the beat um, so I don't really catch everything that's going on in the way that you probably assume that I would. But yes, uh, thank you for this recommendation. Um, and I'll see you on the next video. I'm so bad at saying bye. Um, so I'm just going to say bye. Subscribe if you haven't and have a nice day. Bye everyone.